Hey guys, it's Friday afternoon. We're going away on a second quick overnighter. Wayne's doing the honours driving. Hi Wayne. G'day guys. We're off to Kyton. We're about to Kyton. Uh, Kyton Springs just for a one-nighter, so it should be good. We're going to try the RV Friendly Town system. We're going to see what's around up there. Uh, following the GPS that's inbuilt. And as I said, it's Friday afternoon, so traffic's a little bit crawling. So we'll catch you up once this frees up a little bit. Okay. Look at that traffic. Look, it's this Friday afternoon and it's, it's after lockdown has eased, so everyone's back on the road. Oh well. Now, I forgot to mention that we have Ollie on board. But it's so warm, he's just sitting in the corner. Hi, Ollie boy. Oh well, it says 82 kilometers to go. We'll see how long it takes. So we leave one freeway being the Western Ring Road, and we're now on the Bendigo M79 freeway. Just as hectic, but hey, it is quarter past five on a Friday afternoon. What more could you expect? Getting a few looks from cars we are. Haven't seen anything like the Wings of Adrian before. It's a beautiful afternoon. It's what? 24, 25 degrees and we've only just discovered we haven't had the air conditioning running so hopefully things will get cooler in the cabin. Trials and tribulations of learning all your new tools and buttons and gizmos. Hey honey. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Okay, so we're at Kyson, we're 85 kilometres from home, but it's a picturesque little stop off in the Macedon Ranges. Yeah. And we've found a beautiful little RV, RV friendly lay, lay by, so to speak. We're just taking Ollie for a quick walk, stretch his legs. So, Kyton Boggy Creek Natural Springs. Oops. So there's like a little kid's playground there. Several car spaces. But down here is where we park, as you can see. There's RV parking. couple of picnic tables. There has been high winds recently so there's lots of branches down everywhere. From Boggy Creek to Bissellary, Kyton. Oh, salty. 
Oh, very salty. All parked up, ready for the night. Windows open, tellies on. Good reception. So here we are, it's 8.30, Friday night. We've had a little bit of nibblies and it's time to make dinner. So just keeping it simple tonight, just making a pasta. So the pasta is on and boiling, extraction fans running, and we're gonna have good old barbecue chick and Alfredo sauce with some spinach and some mushrooms possibly in it. And that's it, just a quick dinner. Well, good morning. So I'm just taking Ollie for his morning little walk for his little toilet run. And it's, it's gray, it's not so great. But it's a good sleep, a very quiet spot. Love it. There was also, because there's a creek, because of the natural springs, you know, there's actually, you know, crickets and frogs and everything. So we had the uh, skylight open last night. It was great. You can hear the cockatoos in the background. Nice being in the country. Time. 
Are you complaining because you're stationary? Come on then, let's go, on your way, let's go. We're at Hanging Rock, but we're on what they call the base walk because that's the only area that's dog friendly. Just an amazing spot. Look at these amazing rock features. It's incredible. It's just so untapped. We so haven't seen so much of Victoria. It's a great opportunity to get out and about. It's and amazing. Ollie's yeah. pulling us around like crazy. He yeah, loves his walks. Loves it. He's smelling all the different scents of all the different animals. He is absolutely going crazy. Yeah. So we better keep walking. Yeah. Hopefully you can see some nice scenery. Amazing. So I'm about halfway up to the summit, a little bit out of breath, it is quite steep and really truly the um, video footage doesn't do it justice of how steep it actually is. So I've just stopped halfway up for a small um, view, now we're going to try and make it. That's where we're heading. Let's see what it's like at the top. Well, hey, I made the summit. Beautiful, absolutely picturesque. Anyway, now to head down, it'll be a lot easier going down, I swear. And then I'll send Wayne up. Had to do it separately because Ollie's still not tired out and we didn't want to leave him in the van and get worried about him. So we decided to split up and I'd go up the summit first and Wayne will go up second. But as you can agree, it is picturesque.
Now this little formation apparently is called the saddle. I wonder why. Does it look like a saddle straddled between the two rocks? Well, this is fun. Ooh. <laughs> Going through this stairwell cave. Oh. Well, okay, so this is actually the hanging rock. Right, I see. Here I am just thinking it was the, the stairs to the car park. How beautiful, just natural water falling. How does one get the water? 